Hey guys, Buffer Game Bad today, bringing our video for our weapon conversion series, and today we're going to be taking the brand new weapon, the ISO submachine gun here in Season 5, available at Tier 15 of the Battle Pass, and we're going to be converting it into the APC-9K, so at base, it is an APC-9, we're going to be converting it to the APC-9K, which actually was awarded the United States Army Subcompact Weapon Production Transitional Agreement. Uh, so it's in the trial period right now, and if the United States Army likes it, they will adopt more. But we'll be going over the conversion, we'll be building it, and then showing it off in-game. Also, stay tuned for giveaway details here in the video. Let's go ahead and back out and get right into it. So here's the final design for the APC-9K. Again, this is the shorter compact variant of the base APC-9 or the ISO that we have in-game. So we'll go ahead and back out here. And what I'm going to do first off is we'll go to the Battle Pass for Season 5, and I'll go ahead and back up and go to tier 15 where you get the ISO. So this is a brand new weapon. Again, the ISO at base is a regular APC-9. And we'll go ahead and view it here. Now, it is not technically a pro version uh, because we do still have a reciprocating charging handle on this version, but we'll go ahead and back out now. Jump back to our custom game where we have this built and we'll take a look at it. So we'll go to our P90 class where I didn't rename it, but we'll strip this down to base. So first off, one of the most important attachments here is we already have a short barrel of 7 inches of length at the base variant, which is what the APC-9 comes with. So we're going to want to adjust that to the 140 millimeter barrel, which is going to be the 5 inch barrel for this weapon. This is going to be the shortest barrel available for the weapon. Again, it's a, actually, excuse me, it's a 5.5 inch for the ISO. So this is the shortest version available for the APC-9, turning it into the APC-9K. This is going to assist with the ADS speed and the movement speed, the cons here being the bullet velocity and recoil control. So we'll go ahead and select that one. Now we're going to go ahead and back up. We're just going to throw a tactical suppressor on there for mainly cosmetics and to stay true to kind of what the weapon looks like in a lot of the uh, videos and stuff that I've seen on this during, during my research. So the pros here, sound suppression, the cons being aim down sight speed and aim walking steadiness. So we'll go ahead and select that. Skip out on the laser, and for the optic, we're just going to run a standard holographic or an EOTech here. This is going to assist, again, just precision sight picture, the cons being the ADS speed for the weapon. Now, the stock, we're going to want another option here. We're going to want the ISO collapsible stock. So that basically it does have a collapsible butt stock, but again, it is extended. So we're going to go ahead and collapse that with this option here. This is going to give us the pros being movement speed and the ADS speed. The cons here, aiming stability and recoil control. And then the last attachment we're going to do is go ahead and the underbarrel. I'm just going to throw a Ranger foregrip on here. Again, if you're really hip firing this, the Merc is probably the better option. But to stay true to really how the weapon looks in real life, we're going to want the Ranger foregrip. That's going to assist again with recoil control and aiming stability. The cons here being the aim walking movement speed and ADS speed. So we'll go ahead and put that on there. And one other option, you obviously, you'll see in the gameplay here, you're going to probably want to swap out the suppressor for either a 30 round or even a 50 round. I will switch near the end of the game and put the 50 round drum mag on in place of the suppressor just so you can see what more ammo does for you because at base it only comes with a 20 round magazine and it is uh, very hard to take out multiple targets with this you're constantly reloading so the 20 round magazine as soon as you unlock the 30 round magazine I would highly recommend this and that is the APC 9k so really quick the camouflages how do they look on this weapon you can see here it's going to cover everything but the Suppressor, the underbarrel, as well as the EOTAC holographic there, or whatever op sight optics you want to put on the weapon. And part of that telescopic stock there on the left and right hand side where that slides in. That's really the only part that's not going to be affected by the camouflage. Go ahead and back out again. This is the APC 9K, or compact variant of the APC 9. So let's go ahead now and we'll jump into the gameplay for this weapon. And first off, you can see I'm just using it here in a custom game here on Crash. And I also have the the other new weapon here for the season, the AN-94, just kitted really for a fun close quarters type engagement situation here. You'll see me take that out when I do run out of ammunition with the APC-9K just because it does have a 20 round magazine on the weapon. It is very hard to take out, like I said, more than one or two targets max. Uh, if you take out two, you're definitely going to end up needing to reload at that point. Especially with this particular build, the recoil is quite difficult to control with this, so you're really going to want to put more ammo ammo in there or even swap up some of the sites but i say 30 round magazine is just going to make the world of difference and then obviously if you upgrade to the 50 it's going to help out also so first off for the giveaway details that is still going on i will be picking a winner this week so to enter that all you need to do is be subscribed to the channel and then comment your console of choice on one of two videos being the apc 9 sd or the an94 weapon conversion videos that we did earlier 
uh, last week, excuse me, the end of last week. So what I'll do is I'll put the link to both those below. You only need to comment on one. You don't need to do both. So just be subscribed to the channel. Comment on one of those with your console of choice, whether it's PlayStation, Xbox, or PC, and let me know something about Season 5 that you either like, dislike, something along those lines, and then I will be picking a winner later this week for a $35 gift card to your console of choice. Again, so just comment your console there. Give me some information what you like, dislike about Season 5, and then I'll be picking a winner at some point this week, either mid to the end of the week, I'll be going through and doing that. So just comment on one of those giveaway instructions I will leave down below in the description for you. So... Moving on to the weapon, in real life, again, as I said, the APC-9K was awarded the contract for the United States Army Subcompact Weapon Production Other Transaction Agreement, or POTA. So this is a competition for the APC-9K submachine gun, which was entered into this, and it was awarded a $2.6 million contract, which included an initial 350 subcompact weapons, or the APC-9K, as we're talking about in this case, uh, with the option for an additional up to 1,000 units if the United States Army likes it. Right now, the plan is for this to replace the MP5 for the submachine gun in the United States Army. So, if we get into some stats of this again, this is BNT APC-9. It is a type being submachine gun place of origin. Uh, Bruger and Thumbet is a Switzerland company. So, it's been in service since 2011. The designer, as I said, BNT, the design process took place in 2010. The mass of the weapon is actually a little bit lighter than the MP5. It's going to be 2.5 kilograms with an empty magazine. The length overall of the base APC-9 is going to be 597 millimeters. The barrel length at base for the APC-9 is 175. But in this case, for the APC-9K, it's actually going to be reduced to 5.5 inches or 139.7. We're rounded to 140 millimeters, which is what we see here with the attachment for the barrel option that we put on this weapon. So... Nice that they have the right barrel lengths in here. The cartridge, again, in real life, as we see here in the game, it is a 9x19 parabellum round. There's also different variants available, one being the 45 Smith & Weston. There's a 10mm auto, as well as a 45 ACP variants, which are available in real life. The action is a rotating, delayed, blowback, closed bolt system. The rate of fire is actually very high, being at 1,080 rounds per minute in real life. The effective fire range for this is 100 meters, so it is a close quarter CQC PDW type weapon here as a submachine gun again having a high rate of fire high rate of fire for shots on target as well as accuracy is really what this is touted for in real life as well not so much in the game but definitely in real life and again with the attachments of the game that we're using in this video for the APC 9k are not the best ones for this weapon so you're not seeing here really the best way this weapon functions but you can definitely kit it out better to make it much more accurate now, the feed system in real life is going to be 15, 20, 25, or even a 30-round MP9 detachable box magazine. Now, here in game, we also have the option that comes with a base 20. We also have the 30-round magazine stick mag option, and then we also have the 50-round drum mag option for this weapon as well. Now, a cool thing here in real life is that the lower receivers can be swapped out, and also it can be equipped with a Glock lower receiver. It can also be equipped with a SIG lower receiver to accommodate different magazines based on the caliber of the weapon for that conversion and then the sights at base it comes with an aim point but we use that the other day in our sd video so i want to switch it up and go with a eotech or a holographic option here so this is the apc 9k let me know what you guys think down below this weapon again pretty interesting weapon i do like how it handles online i'm still leveling it up in warzone to see really where it stands because everybody seems to be using as we've seen the mp5 and the mp7 so it'd be nice to see maybe if we can get another smg in there and i think when you kit this out fully it might be able to hold its own in that conversation. So I'll we'll have to wait and see once I level this up and start running it. Uh, overall, it is a really nice weapon. I really enjoy it in multiplayer. And you can see here, the only downside with the build that we have here is the 20-round magazine. And since we do have it kitted for the best mobility we have, we're getting a little bit of recoil with this, which is a little bit of the downside. But again, you can swap out, put on different magazines as well as maybe just leave that extended buttstock and use a different attachment there. And you'll have a much more accurate weapon than you see here. Again, this is really built for very, very CQC engagements, which is really how we're trying to use it here, which is pretty good. So in other news, really quick, the there was a pass today for weapon tuning. So the Bruin got nerfed. It had a little bit of a damage reduction at range. So it's going to take, I believe, one or two more bullets at a specific range to kill somebody, which is good to see in Warzone. We also had a buffer and evening out of the FAL. The FAL now takes uh, two shots 
one to the head at to kill at range. So you're gonna need to land one headshot and then one to the body, regardless. So it will take more than one shot to the head to kill, and then also it's gonna be three shots total to kill somebody, no matter what. Instead of what we saw before, I believe it was two. So that's good to see they they nerfed those a little bit. We got buffs to the Holger 26 or the G36 as well as the M91 or the MG5. So those passes are available on Infinity Wars Twitter. You can go ahead and check them out online. I'll have to see how it holds up here going forward. Again, I did play a little bit of Warzone uh, this at, later this afternoon here, and the Bruin is still very, very widely used, as well as the Grouse. So I'm not sure what the uh, trend is with Infinity Ward, thinking it's a good idea to add very high rate of fire weapons with very low recoil, being the Grow and the Bruin mainly I'm talking about here because if you put the right attachments on there, there's just legitimately no recoil on the weapons and the high rate of fire makes it very fast TTK. And especially if you're in engagements, even with something that does have a higher TTK, the fact that you're just getting hit constantly is gonna throw off your aim and uh, make it very difficult for you to return fire. So I really hope they continue to do more nerfs to a lot of weapon or do more weapon balancing going forward. There's definitely a meta problem in this game and a lack of variety, which is actually Seems to be very frustrating playing lately. You try to play with different weapons and have a good time, and you just run into Bruins, Kilos, Grouse, or MP5s all the time in the final circle, which I don't have a problem with those weapons, but the only issue is that everybody uses the exact same attachments, and there's zero variety to the game right now, which is a bit frustrating. So I really hope Infinity Ward steps it up and does something to make more variety in Warzone instead of we just see one of three weapons that everybody's running with the exact same attachments. Um, there's this whole gunsmith system in the game, so I really hope they do something so people actually have to take advantage of it. I think one thing to do would be to stop publishing patch notes for weapon tuning. That way everyone's going to read these patch notes and just start using whatever weapon has now been buffed. So they need to stop doing that, and then they also need to take care of this issue where everyone's using the same weapon. With the same attachments but that's just my two cents let me know down below what you guys think they should be doing with the warzone patching going forward if you're running into too many bruins too many growls too many mp5s also let me know what you think of the apc 9k here as you see in the gameplay and giveaway instructions are down below i will be picking somebody mid to end of week so go ahead and comment on one of those two videos with your console of choice as well as some information about season five that you like or dislike and i'll leave you guys with that this is buffering gaming with the apc 9k till next time buffering gaming out